morning, my lovely student. Good morning, sir. How are you this morning? I am fine, sir. All right, that's very good. All right, my lovely student. Before we are going to continue our lesson today, I would like to invite one of you to bring us to pray. I would like to invite Eddie to bring us to pray. Eddie, please. All right. Uh, let's we are pray for God. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful for your love. Now we will soon learn we ask for your wisdom to be present in our lives. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Alright, thank you, Eddie. Alright, my love student, uh, I will check your attendance list. Please uh, say present if you hear your name. Eddie Kurniawan. Present, sir. Chris Kajuliani. Present, sir. Marvita Sari. Present, sir. Chris Piani. Present, sir. Reti. Present, sir. Alright, good. Everybody will present, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, my little student. Uh, before we are going to begin our lesson today, I would like to ask to you about our last material last week. Who is still remember about our last material last week? I am, sir. Yeah, Friska, what is about our last material? Procedure text, sir. So, what is the definition of procedure text? Procedure text is a text that explains or helps of how to make or use something, sir. All right, thank you. Very good. Give applause for this country. All right, my lovely student. Today we are going to learn about descriptive text. Do you know about descriptive text? No, sir. All right, today, uh, sir, we're going to explain to you about descriptive Test. Are you ready for learn today? Yes, sir! Okay, firstly, the objective about our learning material today First is, yes, uh, my student is able to know about the definition about the script text <coughs> Second is, my student is able to know about the general structure of the script text And the last is, my student is able uh, to know about the language feature of narrative text so, my lovely student, uh, you have to able to know about the descriptive text because it is very important in your daily life. So, my lovely student, uh, before uh, sir, we're going to uh, explain to you about our material today. So, please pay attention and fo stay focused about our material today. Okay? Alright, sir! The first about definition of descriptive text, where the descriptive text is a text which says what the person or thing is like. Its purpose is to describe and reveal a particular person, place, or thing. The second is about the general structure of the descriptive text. In general structure of the descriptive text, there are two. First is identification, where identification is contains about the introduction of a person, place, animal, or object will be described. And second is about description. Well, it is contains a description of something such as animal, things, place, or a person by describing its feature, forms, colors, or anything related to what the reader describes. Next is about the purpose of descriptive text. The purpose of descriptive text first is to describe person, thing, or place in specific. And the second is to describe a particular person, thing, or place. Next, we're going to learn about language feature of descriptive text. Where there are four language feature of descriptive text, my students. First is about specific participants. If this has a certain object, it is not common and unique. Only one. For example, Bandengan Beach, My House, Borobudur Temple, Uncle Jim. Second is about the use of the adjective. An adjective to clarify the noun. For example, a beautiful beach, a handsome man, the famous place in Japara, and etc. The third is about the use of simple present tense. The sentence pattern used is simple present because it tells the fact of the object described. For example, uh, about the beach. So, in the descriptive text, we have to tell or explain describing the fact of the beach itself. The next is about action verb. Where in the language feature of descriptive text, we're using the verbs that show an active plea. For example, run, sleep, walk, cut, and etc. For a student, to make you more understand about our material about descriptive text, so here, sir, have one example of you about descriptive text. It 
is more conscious of the screaming less. It is about Lemba Polanyi waterfall, where you can see on our slide in front of there are three paragraphs about a descriptive text about Lemba, Lemba Polanyi waterfall, where in the first paragraph it is about a identification of the descriptive text, while in the second paragraph and the last paragraph is about the description and also closing of the descriptive, descriptive text. Well, my student, do you have uh, something questioner about our material today? Yes, sir. All right, Novita Sari, what is your question about our material? Okay, <laughs> my question is, what the characteristic of descriptive text? All right, very good. Uh, who can answer the question from uh, Novita Sari from all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, Christiani, what is the uh, the answer from the question from Novita Sari? Very good. Give applause for Christiani. Yeah, very good, Christiani. Very good answer. So it is uh, right that the characteristic of the descriptive text is content of the very clear describing of something. So because it is about the fact according to our material previously. Alright, my student, to make you more understand about our material today. So here, sir, also have a media, manual media to show for you. So please see manual media. All right, my students, do you have to see about our media today? Yes. yes sir. So what is about our media today? Yo, boxer. Okay. Uh, who one of you can describe for us about Yahoo Park according to your ability? Me, sir. Yes, pretty. Please describe for us about Yahoo Park according to our media. Alright, sir. Uh, I think the Yahoo Park is one of the parts that adapts the beauty of Nias Island people. Yahoo Park is also the only part in Gunusitori City. In Yahoo Park, there are also huts for Taylor, then there is the parking lot, seating for visitors, there is a canteen and toilet. So. Oh, very good. Give applause for Pretty. <laughs> Alright, my student, that's all about our learning material today. So, our material today is about the, the script test. Well, it is about how to describe a particular person, place, or a thing. It is have a general structure like identification, description, and purpose to describe person, describe a particular person also. Alright, my student, in the in your last paper, there are uh, tasks for you to do in your homework. Do you see that? Yes, yes sir. Okay, please uh, do your homework very good and submit in the next meeting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, my student, before we are going to uh, close our material today, I would like to invite one of you to bring us a Amen. Amen. Well, my student, that's all about our material today, and see you in the next meeting. See you, see you sir. sir.